Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this video is uh, how to fix our topo surface. What we did in the previous video is uh, put in a topo surface to help us with our uh, basement design or help us with our design of the basement in this uh, simple residential model that we're building in Revit Architecture. And I believe this is video number 10 in that series. Um, what I'd like to do with this top of surface it seems to be cutting right through the house and we have an area up here where it's uh, conflicting with the first floor and of course if you go into the basement it's completely filled in the basement that's not a desirable uh, thing to have so what we want to do is we want to take that top of surface with a building pad as an element up here and kind of build around the basement so what that does is it allows the top of the surface to come to the house go down to the basement go underneath the basement floor and then pop out on the other side so let's do this let's go to our site plan Click on site. There's a couple things we want to do. We want to hide some elements in here. So let's go ahead and hide this floor. And if you just click on the floor, this is our first floor, we're going to go ahead and hide in view. We're going to hide that element. Bang. All gone. Now we're going to click on these walls. And what we want to do is we want to select all those walls. So we don't have to do this one at a time. There's an option here. If you right click on your mouse, go down to select all instances. Go to select all instances visible in the view. Right click. Hide in view. Elements bang that's gone and what that does is it temporarily hides these things but allows us to bring these things back there are going to be times when you want to do some work inside of the house if you want to get rid of the roof that you just you know just modeled it gives you the ability to hide that roof so you can do work on the inside of the house and then put the roof back later all it does is it hides in that in the view it doesn't hide it in any other other view so if we go back to the 3d view those elements are still there our first floor walls which we want to hide because they're a little bit offset from our basement walls uh, we wanted to hide those but it's not hidden other views so enough said let's go back to our site plan one thing you'll notice here too you could also edit your topo surface by going to the edit surface button up here and these points can be moved around now inside the building as well as outside of the building you can manipulate these points here if you like add additional points and so on and so forth so got that all done and typically what you do in Revit Architecture, as I've mentioned before, you kind of work from the left to the right. And uh, what we've done is, uh, here in a massive inside, is we build our top of the surface. We can put in site components like trees if you wanted to. And if you want to put in different trees, you can go down here. And one nice thing about these trees that we're putting in is that it knows what level they're on. So up here it's going to be at the 5 uh, feet above level up in the top and down here it's uh, five feet below uh, the you know the zero surface so we'll take a look at that when we rebuild this model and we'll look at it from the site plan of the 3d view so let's go ahead and put in our building pad that's the next one over uh, beyond parking component we'll cover that later in a different video go to building pad and what we want to do just kind of like drawing a roof or a ceiling or a wall is we want to pick with our boundary line and our pick walls option here, the exterior portion of our basement walls. And before we click check mark, wait, wait, before you do the check mark, go back over here and make sure you're not doing the first floor like it is, but you want to make sure it goes to the basement. Because if you do the first floor, what it's going to do is the top of the surface is going to go to the house and then jump up to the first floor and put a, a plane on that first floor. And that's not really what we want. We want that plane to be below the you know the basement uh, floor down on the bottom of the basement floor so now we can do the green check mark now we can see actually see the basement floor before we used to be able to see the top of the surface through the basement so now that top of the surface is gone in the inside of the house and it's uh, into the basement floor so let's look at the section and take a look and see what that looks like so here's a section and if you uh, kind of follow what's going on here uh, what we have is our top of the surface here which gives you the earth hatching which is a, a hatching that we'll get to a little bit later in the quarter, but the top of the surface is up here in the top, comes to the house, drops down to the side of the house, goes down to below the basement level, and comes back up on this side and goes back up on the top of the surface. Now we can modify this a little bit if we uh, go to that pad. If we just click in that pad down here, we could change uh, the, the, you know, the, the thickness of that pad. Just by going to the edit button, you don't have to do a duplicate because there's only one of these in this model. Instead of one foot, we're going to make that eight inches, which is going to be uh, equal to our uh, floor thickness. So that way it kind of disappears down there. Okay, let's take a look at our 3D view. I think we're almost done. There it is. You can see our trees in its place. Those trees actually render to a photo real rendering when you do a, a rendering in the outside of your house. But you can see there's no more conflict in here. 
And if we were to go to our basement plan and look inside of that, you can see that that's free and clear too. And if we did a camera view inside of that, you'd be see, able to see the floor as well as all the walls. You would not have been able to do that earlier. Okay, thank you for joining me and join me for other films.